The 2019-2020 BMW IB World Cup season was a memorable one for the men, in which lived a continuous battle between Norway and France. It was only resolved at the very final shooting of the last competition, making it one of the tightest finish in recent years. Johannes Dignesberg retained his title from the past year, while Martin Foucault waved goodbye at the end of a season that saw him winning two of the most important gold medals of his career. The season kicked off in Estoshun with the question that pretty much summed up the past years. Are we due to a duel between Fourcad and Johannes Stignesbö? But with Tarier finishing just behind his brother in the first sprint, many thought he could also be counted in for the big club. Knowing that Johannes would skip most of January for paternity leave, things looked bright when Fourcad took the win in a very French individual run in Sweden. Baruch Filsen and Anesile Rambonan became a key turnaround in the season of the defending champion. With four victories and a second place, Johannes could fly home in yellow for the birth of his first child. I will prepare for World Championships. Uh, I will try to get a good training in Christmas and, and just uh, yeah, prepare like the perfect preparation. With the new year kicking in and the absence of his biggest rival, Foucault was able to find his best form and shine as bright as ever. I think I took advantage of the absence of uh, Johannes Bo. Today without him I knew that uh, I could take it a bit slower in the first loop and then uh, give it all uh, for the end of my competition. So I must say I'm uh, really satisfied about this uh, victory here in, uh, in Oberhof and uh, it's a good way to start uh, 2020. Frenchmen took all four individual competitions across Oberhof and Ruppolding, adding a man relay with the team that was missing since 2017. In Pokluka, however, the duel with Johannes Tignes resumed. The Norwegian took the win in individual and closed ahead of Foucault in the must start to prove that his chances for the overall were not disrupted by the birth of Gustav. With four different winners in as many individual competitions, the IBU World Championships in Antos and Selva were the pinnacle of the season. Alexander Loginov showed his best form and with fast shooting he took gold in the sprint, leading until the final shooting of the pursuit. A miss let him down and left Emilien Jacqueline to battle with Johannes Tignes Bur for glory. The young Frenchman exploited the skills of his passing cycling to win the final sprint, and the hug from Foucault, who was fourth on the day, clearly foreshadowed a metaphorical endeavor. But Foucault's reign was not to end yet, as he claimed an 11th personal gold medal in the individual equaling his idol Ole Einar Bjorn and then rejoiced with the whole team for a relay gold that was missing since 2001. But Johannes Dignesbø was also to leave his mark on the World Championships. In the final must start he took that elusive gold individually after the mixed, single mix successes and his mind was immediately set on the fight for the overall. Uh, I, I think of uh, both things. <laughs> mm -hmm. First I go home and uh, when I go to Nova Mestu I will think of this again. 100% focused on defending his title and supported by amazing skis, the Norwegian went on a streak of successes between Nova Mestu na Moravie and Contelacti, which projected him back in yellow with only one competition to go. Winning his final competition on the World Cup Tour was almost the only chance Foucault had to put his hands on the big globe, but even by doing so, he needed his rival to finish at least fifth. In a tense pursuit with the wind sweeping the North Karelian range, Bo found himself back against the wall, but a clean final shooting gave him a silver lining to defend his title. 
Prakad crossed the finish line first, ending his professional career with a win in the venue and format that had seen him taking his maiden victory 10 years before. Uh, 10 years ago, back in Vancouver, Vincent de Fran gave me the, the relay uh, and uh, today I'm proud I, I gave it to my mates uh, Emilien, of course Quentin who is really strong and uh, I, I hope they will uh, give it to a young uh, biathlete, a young French biathlete in 10 years and uh, I'm pretty emotional so sorry I, I can't speak. With one of the most iconic figures of the sport saying goodbye, the season closed at its climax. But as Martin Foucault said, more champions will arise and new duels will fire the next season.